Um, the impeachment polls, Chuck, have not moved right. much, even in those two weeks of public testimony that looked dramatic to a lot of people, but the public didn't seem particularly no. moved by that. That's got to please the president. Well, look, and it was it, it, it didn't happen organically. You know, we're going to report this this morning, but we've tallied up the amount of paid media on pro and anti impeachment. There's been basically a four to one spread of, of impeachment messaging uh, on the president's favor. Today, we're back with MSNBC's own mouse man, Chuck Todd, who is desperately trying to spin the lack of support for impeaching Trump as the result of paid political ads. He goes on to say that a new MSNBC report shows that there's a four to one spread of paid anti-impeachment ads. I couldn't find any MSNBC report on these statistics, but I did find one in the Washington Post, and it says, quote, President Trump and his allies are outspending rivals on impeachment related advertising on Facebook, demonstrating their dominance on the platform as they wrestle for control of a fast-moving narrative that could threaten his presidency. The spending discrepancy appears to be gaping as 4 to 1, based on recent data from Facebook's public ad archive, which reports all figures and ranges. The article goes on to state, the numbers indicate that impeachment messaging is a winner for Republicans, and you're not getting that same traction for the Democrats. So basically, the Republicans are spending a lot because they're getting a good return. Trump's campaign is raising millions of dollars where the impeachment messaging on the Democrat side isn't motivating voters in the same way. So one side has fought this as a political campaign, Donald Trump and his allies, and the Democrats, for fear of looking like they politicized the process, have essentially outsourced this to Tom Steyer. Oh, Todd, you're such a hard-hitting journalist. Why is it that you think only Todd Steyer is putting out ads about impeachment? Because he has zero chance of winning the nomination. He's basically a human shield. Clearly, the other Democrats see spending money on impeachment as a loser. And speaking of paid ads, let me take a quick moment to thank this episode's sponsor, PatrioticLegacy.com. PatrioticLegacy.com was nice enough to send me over one of these units so I could give you an honest review. I love this tactical flashlight. It's got everything you would ever need. Six overall lighting functions, escape features like the window hammer and the seatbelt cutter, solar charging so you don't need batteries, a power bank for charging your phone and other devices, and a removable compass with access to a personal safety alarm. Patriot Legacy supports veterans and YouTubers like yours truly. So head on over there and make sure to use the promo code DRONE20 to get 20% off your purchase. Thank you. First of all, if support for impeachment was high in the first place, Democrats would be the ones spending four to one. Second, where exactly does this hack Chuck Todd place the unending nonstop drumbeat of impeachment that's been going on literally since the month that Trump took office? No paid ads can compete with that sort of concerted messaging. Does Chuck Todd consider his coverage of impeachment to be paid ads? Of course he'll never apply that standard to himself, but the fact is, his words echo everything coming from the Democrat Party. And in fact, Chuck Todd's wife owns a company that's received millions from the Democrat Party. Gee, why doesn't MSNBC or Chuck Todd ever disclose that fact? In 2018, Chuck Todd interviewed Bernie Sanders 11 times and never once disclosed that his wife's company received $2 million from his campaign. He was actually confronted about this during a radio show interview back in April of 2018 after he complained about Sean Hannity covering his former lawyer, Michael Cohen. Uh, you know, Sean Hannity can do what he, wanted to, what he wants to do, but I'm surprised Fox isn't making him, at a minimum, disclose a conflict every time he talks about this. Well, like when you interviewed Bernie right. Sanders, you never said that your wife uh, had a connection. Oh, she didn't? She did. What about her company? Her business, it's her partner. Yeah, it was a business partner. Oh. But I take offense to you on that is that's my wife. That's not me. Judge me on my work. Oh, that's what I would I say. Will. Judge me on look, my look, work. You, uh, your wife did work for the Democrats and a liberal activist, but whatever. I, I don't care. Look. Yes, Todd, your blatantly partisan work speaks for itself. You see, Chuck Todd can feign outrage about Sean Hannity, his ideological and business competitor. But when confronted about his own hypocrisy, he's already got a rationalization lined up to explain the obvious contradiction. 
So is Todd and the Democrat Party providing paid political ads on a constant basis? Yeah, I think so. A study from the Columbia Journalism Review and the Center for Public Integrity seems to back me up. According to them, a whopping 97% of donations from the media go to people in the Democrat Party. I'm not going to dive into the study in this video, but I'll leave a link in the description if you want to read more about it. Yes, I think the president's pleased, but it, it, like I said, it didn't happen organically. This was asymmetrical warfare and the Democrats didn't pick up a weapon. What are you talking about? Public support for impeachment is low despite your best efforts for the last three years. The Democrat party is giving your wife millions of dollars and every day you get on TV pushing the political desires of that very party. More and more, Todd reminds me of Helter Stelter and that their jobs seem to be performing damage control on broken narratives that they and the Democrats are heavily invested in. Thanks for watching everybody. Please take a second to hit that like button and subscribe. If you happen to like my content, I'd appreciate it if you'd go out and share it. You can further support this channel by subscribing to me on Patreon, Subscribestar, or just sending a donation on PayPal. You can find all the links in the description and the pinned comment. However you support this channel, I deeply appreciate it. Thank you.